Greetings and salutations and welcome back to our Let's Play of E4 with Red Bastard as Brittany. And we only have like two years left. Wonder how many trade goods we control. Probably a lot of them. We need to invade here. Let's give this guy a leader to do that. Could try invading somewhere down here, but I don't think we really need to. I'm not gonna have enough time to defeat Pasai and Brunei at the same time. So just picking off on the weak people. Like we could attack maybe Tibet or something. We wouldn't have enough time to defeat uh, Hungary. And if we were really trying to do it for some reason I would, I would try okay we're making 500 ducats a month let's take a look at our trade income Now we've, we've basically doubled our trade income. And I think that means that we could go through and pay off debt, specifically Spanish Brazil. 18,000 debt. They like us a lot more now. And we're getting, oh, 100% of their tariffs. Yeah, we're... We're getting a lot of money out of them. Let's see if there's anyone else in debt. Hopefully there's no one with more than a thousand marshland Cali New Granada Spanish Louisiana is doing fine, Spanish Canada doing alright? Okay good. Super the Norte is doing alright. Oregon. Okay, everyone's doing fine. Good for them. Oh, this is another person we need to invade. Let's see if we can do that this month. Yep. Okay, let's put these guys let's do this a little differently. Let's send the cannons directly over here. And this army will send half of them there. And the other half there. Okay, we can get 42 worth of stuff. So let's wait a couple days. Take their territory. And leave troops there. Okay, let's avoid all this Catholic stuff because I don't know what. He's still being cored. Let's go for Kaffa. Like I back from the papacy. Uh, we're going to favor the overextension causing stuff. And which month? 
September. And these trade ships, that's where we want to send them. We'll send them down to the Ivory Coast, ensuring that more of that money goes into our trade node. Which of the trade nodes don't we dominate? Novgorod, Genova. Yeah, there's a few of them. Not too many. Sorry, over Ivory Coast. Ivory Coast we go. Okay, how long is it going to take us to annex them? Unknown. Probably after the game. But we can get a promoted culture, but we don't have the Diplo power. We don't need this fleet there. Let's move it down here. I'm curious if Spanish Brazil is already going to go back into debt. No. Okay, we'll capture that. Uh, we have plenty of room for them. Inside their glorious empire. And that just gave us this area as well. So that's quite enjoyable. Okay, ruler died, and we get pretenders in Leon, but we've got this army that we can send over to deal with that, and we'll give him this general to assist with the task. Let's get royal marriages with our allies. We can get some cash here if we really wanted it. 6,000 per click. Glorious. But we don't need it. We're already making 500 ducats a month beyond our expenses. Kill him, kill him, kill him. And we're not going to start any more wars. We're just going to run the clock down, enjoying our awesomeness as badass Brittany. Okay, keep coring. September. Okay, so let's grant them monopoly charters. Take the diplo points. Get the money. And now do the diplo reputation here. And 
hopefully we will annex them quickly enough. No, 1823. Or Tunis. Sure, Burgundy, we'll send you some military power. Let's see if any of our subjects need any financial assistance. Just the first three. Okay, they're good. Just mostly worried about men. Can I conquer Minsk? No, we're not going to do that. We'll just go to the top of the list. Uh, we could probably get a couple provinces from somebody if we just attack somebody but again we're not going to send them what they need or back up to 14,000 ducats which rely more on trade income let's see what percentage of our trade ink of our income is from trade only 27 percent we're not going to increase that to 60 Oh, we can colonize. That's really important. Gotta finish strong. I'm rich with Saxony ended. Let's give them a new one. Okay, so we got Gabrielle in power. They've got Eleonora. Girl power. Marietta is in charge there. Queen Barbara. Obviously not here. That's male. Of course, they're male. Grand Kinyaz. Yeah, they're male. Curious um, how many people have female rulers? Basically, only really common in the Christian world. There's a lot of female rulers. Bask in the glory of our empire. Let's finish with everyone out of debt if possible. Sorry, we're doing one more sweep through here. I pay off California's debt one last time for old time's sake. And Granada. Okay, once we paid off their debt, um, they're doing fine. They just couldn't get themselves out of that downward spiral. Once we paid it off, then, you know, they're all right. Thank you, California. Yeah, they're going to be loyal to us forever after. I mean, even if we were going to play after this, um, they would remain loyal to us for quite some time because we paid off all their debt.
pay off 18,000 of somebody's debt and they'll tend to be loyal. Let's go ahead and get a save here. I am almost done, sweetheart. Okay, people sampling their religions? Yeah, how about it? We don't care. <laughs> Austria is still in that coalition against them. <laughs> oh, those kids. I'll say, do you still dislike us? We could just vassalize you to get. We do that. Oh, we won't have enough time to get our relations that good. Let's see if we can. Oh, I doubt we can. Every day matters. Okay. Oh, let's go ahead and ally them. And there we are. So, let's go ahead and show the timeline. Get this out of our way. We're going to do the timeline of Europe first on fast speed. That's what the rest of this video is going to be all about. So thank you for watching. This has been another Let's Play of EU4 with Red Bastard as Brittany. That was a viewer request. There are no constraints imposed upon us. We're just seeing what we can accomplish. Yeah, so what was critical to our success early on was attacking France in the first war, just making sure that they couldn't get any stronger. We weren't able to really weaken them. The second war weakened them, but the first one kept them on the defensive, where they weren't able to just push in any direction. They weren't in any position. Of course, they attacked Savoy and failed, and that definitely hurt them. And we should have beat up on the Ottomans a little bit more than we did. But we made our point. We took their capital. Of course, if you're going for world conquest, we would have tried to kill Burgundy much sooner than we did. So we kind of had ourselves boxed in, boxed in by having all of our neighbors allied to us after like this point. We'd want to eliminate Ottomans and Muscovy and some of the other Europe, Austria, Hungary, a lot earlier. This is a pretty fun run and played as Brittany. I don't think ever in a U4, maybe once long time ago. We obviously weren't playing as optimal as we could have for lots of strategies. Pretty impressive Europe for us. Okay, let's do uh, North and South America next. This one we're going to do on very fast. We're not as concerned about the details. I 
And we could have picked up the pace with Conquest if we wanted to go over 100% overextension. But again, we weren't going for World Conquest. Let's take a look at Africa. Very fast. If it annoys you that we do timelines so much, then let me know in the comments and I'll decrease the frequency of them. I'm sure people have done World Conquest with with Brittany. Late game blobbing is so much fun when you can just conquer massive swaths of territory. Okay. Well, I guess I'm going to zoom in a little bit and prioritize this stuff rather than Kamchatka and the uh, Russian Far East. If you're looking at these maps, we do have, and you haven't watched all the videos, we do have a number of subjects. So in Europe, we had Saxony as a subject. Iraq and the Middle East is our subject. And in Asia, we have men who right now doesn't exist, but they'll pop up in Southern China, and we'll feed them. Of course they pop up as a protectorate of us, then they have embrace their institutions and break free, and we vassalize them, and then feed them that. Okay, one last timeline and this is the whole world on very fast we get a personal union over Spain and something like was it 1740 yeah, I think it was 1740 and then we have Saxony as a subject Iraq and men. We had a few other subjects from time to time, like Ashanti, we had in Western Africa for a little bit. Okay, so let's do just the last thing of exiting out of here and taking a look at this. We played as, uh, we played as Brittany, and our longest reigning ruler was Ronan the Accuser the first. That's named after somebody, Ronan, who's one of our viewers at the public uh, subscription. 56 years. We won all 279 wars that we fought. Uh, we lost one war that we weren't the leader on. We killed two million enemy soldiers, a loss of 407,000 of our own. 
We killed 781 ships, losing 115. We wiped out 108 nations. <laughs> nice. Um, in the next 1,218 provinces. Now this isn't accurate. Because those weren't actually, those were just occupied by enemies, I believe. Okay, best general wasn't as good as in some of the other games. Protestant and Nantes was our best province with 40 developments. That's our capital. And 49 disasters started to progress. None of them actually struck. Okay, so that is our run. Thank you for watching. This has been another Let's Play of EU4 with Red Bastard as Brittany. If you have your own request of what you'd like me to be doing with some of the videos, please feel free to post it. And if you like this series, please consider subscribing to my channel, giving the videos thumbs up, and posting supportive comments or even questions, making requests, any of that stuff. And you could also become my patron on Patreon. And I'll see you guys shortly with, I believe the next video series I'm going to do is another request for a Basileus run as Byzantium.